Hey, what's up, everybody? Jim Vavita here with my reaction to episode five of Jessica Jones, aka The Sandwich Save Me. Now, one, that's a great title, but two, that's not what we're going to talk about. I want to talk about Kilgrave. Now, we're going to get into some spoilers ahead. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, bookmark this, come back, check it out when you have watched the episode. Um, I want to talk about basically how Kilgrave just might be the scariest Marvel villain ever, ever, sorry, I'm from Boston, um, because he has no agenda. And we saw this uh, really come into play in this episode where we saw that the security guys uh, who came to rescue him had completely foiled our hero's plan to to get him. And um, to the, in this point in the series, we're, we're about, I'm about halfway through, I haven't watched all of it. He doesn't really have a master scheme or plan outside of he wants to ruin people's lives. And that makes him even scarier and more evil than somebody who's out for an infinity stone, in this fan's opinion. Um, the fact that he basically can say, let's say, makes a man leave his own child on the side of the road so that he can just drive him around for a week doing, you know, these kind of uh, these errands or that he'll get somebody hooked on drugs like Malcolm just to further his own ends. That is scarier and more despicable than anything any other Marvel villain has done. And I really do think that the Marvel television villains so far have hands down beat the Marvel movie villains. We all love Loki, no slight on Loki. And I didn't think you could really top Kingpin, but I have to say the Purple Man, Kilgrave, as played by David Tennant, has really shown that a villain can be scary, evil, and really undermines your hero when they're just simply being bad for the sake of being bad. Um, fantastic show. I love it. I can't wait to get through through the rest of the, the, the season. But I want to hear what you guys have to say about Kilgrave. Do you think he's a scary villain precisely because he doesn't really have an agenda? Um, let me know in the thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, check out IGN.com for the full review by Eric Goldman of this episode, a.k.a. The Sandwich uh, Save Me. And remember, two for one hoagies all day. For all things Jessica Jones, Marvel, Marvel Netflix, keep it here on IGN.